Hey everybody, I'm Eddie Ray and you're watching my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're at Henry Horton State Park in Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Stay tuned and see what we got to show you. So once you've pulled off the main highway and made your way into the campground area of Henry Horton State Park, the first thing you, one of the first things you will see is the playground. Got a big playground on one side and there's a gigantic sandbox on the other side uh, for all the kids to play. This is like a kid friendly place. Uh, there's plenty of room to ride bicycles and you know just do what kids like to do. Another benefit to here uh, as you see with some campgrounds but don't see with others is there is a camp store here. Uh, the camp store is manned by the camp host or the campground host and uh, he stays in there from time to time makes sales transactions. Uh, there's clothing in there, souvenirs, novelty items, and necessity items for those of us who forget things from time to time. This is the camp store. Uh, make sure you stop by. Uh, they got all kinds. Of, so it's not huge or anything like that, but certainly enough for someone if they forgot a few things or want to pick up a few souvenirs. Now, on the other side of the main highway, uh, there is the inn, which also has souvenirs and a main park office along with a few other things. You'll see that or have seen that as we've gone throughout the course of the video. Okay, so as we make entrance into the park, uh, the first site is obviously number one, number two, number four, and then across from number four is number three. All these are back end sites. Now, if you get on here to number five, it is a pull through. Uh, most of these are reasonably level and can be leveled up with uh, just a crank of your lift jacks and or your stabilization jacks and then your right to left. But for the most part, they're all reasonably level. There is going to be a need for some adjustment. Site six, site seven, site eight, and then behind over here, site nine, all have a slight decline, so you're backing down. Uh, and again, one of those things, just need to make sure you can level up. You know, when we got here, or before I made the reservations here, I was curious about the terrain. And the terrain here, I thought would be level, this is anything of a sort. Now it's not extreme hilly, but it is, it's got some upwards and downwards area to it. The little, the roadway that I'm walking right now uh, is up and down, but it's nothing extreme and nothing a bicyclist couldn't handle with ease, a child couldn't handle with ease. So uh, it's just something to be mindful of. There is some uh, elevation increase and decrease as you go throughout the campground. Campsite 12. Campsite 13 here and then campsite 14 is a pull through now on this side if you'll walk directly behind where you are uh, this direction you'll meet the duck river and there's some trails that go all throughout that way we've not done any of the trails it's been raining so it's pretty muddy and uh, i don't want to get just too covered in mud all right so we're at site 27 this is our site we're staying here for uh, the next four nights or so and I just kind of give you an understanding of what we're looking at and what we're dealing with. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the camper and the truck fit in pretty well. They say these are 10 feet wide. I'd say they're a little bit wider, maybe better like 20. Um, I'm not sure why there was a discrepancy there, but that's what it is. Uh, as you see, the awning's out and we have a picnic table here in the back and then just beyond our site is the burn pit. Uh, so we've got plenty of area. The biggest thing that was a concern for us, it's been raining. Uh, so today is Thursday. We got here Wednesday and it rained a little bit yesterday and then it's rained last night and periodically throughout the course of today. So we have this drain issue. Well, I manipulated a little trench and allowed the water to rush off and down into the woods. So it works out pretty good. Otherwise though, uh, at this site, as always, we have a uh, water hookup, we have the electrical hookup, and uh, no problems. So it works out pretty well. As you can see, they've got big metal posts uh, so you don't run over their water or electrical, and then of course you have all the hookups that you need. 
Uh, this is Mom and Jay's site. They're at site 29. 29 is at the crest of a little hill just past ours at 27. As you can see, it's all level and uh, plenty of room to do whatever it is that you think you need to do. Lots of good area. Good thing about this site on 29, uh, it's not very far from the restrooms. You see the restrooms over here. The site just beyond them is site 30. It's a back end site. Sets across the top of a little crest as well. Right next to site 30, restrooms. To my left here is site 35. Good level site. Backs in, you've got all the normal amenities. Uh, your concrete picnic table and your burn pit is off to the side. But on the other side of 35 is 34. 34 has quite an incline, so be prepared for that in the event that you use it. Uh, it's not extreme and it somewhat levels out, but there is an incline. All right, here is site 39. As you can see, they've got a travel trailer pulled in and a truck pulled in there with it. Plenty of room. It's a reasonably le level site. As all the hookups is normal. This site here is site 40. Uh, you can see site 40. It has a decline. So when you're pulling in, it's going to, you're going to be going downhill just a foot. I'd say there's a variation maybe of a foot, maybe a foot and a half as from the entrance to the exit. The site here looks like it might be 41. Uh, it's a pretty level site. It has an incline. I don't want to, you know, I don't know how you classify moderate, severe. Severe would be like straight uphill if you ask me. None of these are like that. They all are reasonably leveled out. You can get your uh, camp pretty level pretty quick. All right, the site here is 48. Uh, this uh, is a pull-through site. Uh, and to me, if you're going to get this one, you're going to need to level up right to left and front to back. So make sure you got you some blocks with that. Directly across from 48 is site 49. Uh, simply back right up, you see the picnic table and burn pit there at the end of it. It's level left to right and level front to back. The last camper site that we see is site 52 and that's one with this gigantic class A. Uh, as you can see they fit another vehicle over to the side and got their awning out. Plenty of room for what it is. So in talking about the terrain we're at site 14. This is a pull through site and uh, just make notice uh, behind me here it's like a drop, uh, almost like a sinkhole. And there's a couple of these throughout the campground. Uh, if you got small kids uh, or, you know, animals, anything like that, I don't know that this would necessarily be the site for me. Um, it does have the picnic table and it does have the burn pit. Uh, but I can see my two-year-old riding the big wheel off into this crater and then trying to fish him back out. So uh, amongst all the crying and carrying on, I just don't think that the sites like this would be suitable for small children. Uh, they have everything you need, but uh, you certainly don't need that headache. Okay, site 17, 18, 19, 20. These are all in the lower end of the campground. All of these are level. Um, you shouldn't have any problems. You should be able to back right up, put your jacks down, and not have to make any effort to level out. Uh, it looks like it goes on to sites 21, 22, 23, 24, probably 25. Uh, so just keep in mind for that. Uh, these lower numbers in the early 20s are good and very level, so shouldn't have any issues with those. Okay, so if you're a primitive camper, uh, meaning you like to do a tent and you like to kind of somewhat rough it, uh, there are a few sites here at Henry Horton that are just for you. Um, this is one of those sites. Uh, they have the customary cooking grill, the burn pit, a picnic table. No water, no electricity. Uh, one pretty thing about the primitive sites is it does overlook the Duck River in the background. Uh, so it looks good, uh, but I tell you, if you're the faint at heart, these primitive sites are not too faint. So just make sure you uh, research appropriately for those but they do have several primitive sites I say less than 10 uh, so make sure if you like to tent camp check it out okay so not far from our site site 27 there's a bathhouse and also along with the primitive sites there is another bathhouse uh, this is the other one that I'm about we're going to go into the men's room I've already checked to see if there's anyone in there there's no one in there I'm gonna take a quick peek and see what it's all about uh, one thing I noticed firsthand are 
Look, doors. Uh, many, I, I think this is the first place that we've actually stayed at that the shower and the toilets have doors. So uh, these are have a couple of showers, and when you make entry, uh, to some of them the lights go off, so it's go on. So they're motion detector. Of course, there are toilets here. There's a handicap stall and shower, which is plenty of space for that. And uh, again, the toilets have a couple of sinks as well. There are three of those here. So plenty of space to do your uh, duties in the restroom and not be overcrowded. Uh, so even if you'll take a look, we have some outside showers here, which I'm a big fan of. So pretty neat. Another thing that you can do here at Henry Horton is down the road from the park, but as a part of the park features, is the trap and skeet range that they have here at the park. Uh, as you'll see in the background, uh, these people here are all shooting trap. And then on the other end, uh, where there's not as many people, are people shooting skeet or a skeet range availability. So how it works is you buy tokens. A token is $5 and that gets you 27 clay pigeons to shoot at. Uh, so you can rent, you can purchase those, you get every tokens that you think or you're going to shoot. And they also, also offer uh, firearms per, or to rent. They have gauges, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, 28 gauge, and then 410 gauge. And the gun rental is $10. So, you know, you buy your ammunition, I think you average only $16 for that, a $10 gun rental, and then uh, ever how many uh, skeet or clay pigeons that you'd like to shoot. Really kind of a neat thing. I've not ever had the opportunity to see that before or do this here, so this would be a good experience. Looking forward to it. All right, so here at Henry Horton, the, they have an inn and they have a restaurant. So the inn, unlike, uh, we went to Montgomery Bell last month, it's an inside facility and then it has, uh, it backs up to the lake area and there's an open area in the back where they have a, a balcony or just a walkout area. So that has that. This one is looks like a two level and we're obviously not staying here, we're staying at the campground, but uh, all of them appear to have an entrance that is open to the area. Now we're going here to the inn or the restaurant to have dinner tonight. And tonight is the steak menu, it has catfish and an open salad bar. It's not a buffet, it's an order off the menu kind of deal. So it's good eating, it sounds like what we've heard, so we're gonna check that out. Now directly across from the restaurant and the inn is the golf course uh, as you can see this golf course across the way here uh, jay golfed here uh, i think it was wednesday before we arrived and it looks like a well-kept well-maintained maintained golf course nice to check it out it has a pro shop and that sort of thing uh, also here is a large pool and you have access to that throughout the summer months we're not going there obviously because it's still somewhat cooler uh, but reasonable to check out Okay, so it's the Saturday before Easter 2018 and we're here at Henry Horton State Park and this is the fifth annual Duck River Day. Uh, so that they have is a big craft fair, they have uh, fire departments, they have tractors, they have a car show, they have food, they have all kinds of different things. So it's really kind of neat to see this. Very festive for the season and fortunately the weather is nice. We walked around a little bit, what do you, what do you like to see Logan? Huh? Logan's a real conversationalist here. Let's ask him again. What have you seen that you like? Animal skins. Okay, we saw some animal skins. That's right. The uh, Tennessee State Parks has got a booth up here where there's different animal hides. You get to kind of touch them, feel them, that sort of thing. They even sort of have a coral snake that people are getting to get their share of that. Uh, so all kinds of different little things are here. I'll give you a video as we continue on, and I'll show you a few things that they've got here. Duck River Day is the fifth annual at Henry, Henry Horton State Park.
about Duck River Day 5th Annual? Yeah! All right, we're leaving Duck River Day. Uh, that is a huge ordeal. They had Easter egg huntage. They had foodage that you had to wait in line for forever. And they had all kinds of craft stuff. It was it was a real good deal. A car show, tractor show. More dogs uh, than people. Yeah, there, we've determined that if dogs, he made a comparison that uh, if dogs have four feet and humans have two feet, it was uh, the equal amount of feet on the ground for dogs and humans. So big time, lots of fun. Okay, so here at Henry Horton State Park, that this Frisbee golf course. I've never done Frisbee golf in my life. So you can rent the, uh, I don't even know what they're called, the disc from the park inn. They give them your driver's license. They let you borrow as many discs as you need. And then once you're done, you return them. We're on hole number six right now and playing along. Uh, this is good. I've never done this before. Enjoy it. The weather's nice. Right way to do it. Okay, everybody, we've made it home from Henry Horton State Park in Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Each park we visit is an opportunity to experience something different, and we have yet to be fooled. Uh, every park is indeed unique. So that certainly just encourages uh, to you to get out and experience and do new and different things. Uh, Henry Horton State Park was an excellent experience. Uh, we will likely go back there again at some point in time, but of course there are many other miles to travel as we continue down the roadways. Continue to watch as we go on throughout the year of 2018 and experience new and different things and some of the older and same old things. Again, as always, dream big and live for the moment.